Good evening, curling fans, and welcome to the Everest Canadian Senior Curling Championships. We are live from the Community First Curling Centre in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario for championship pool action. Tonight we have a battle of East Coast versus West Coast with Team British Columbia taking on Team New Brunswick. I'm your host, Peter Steske. We've had a great week of curling so far, a good matchup tonight. New Brunswick comes in with a 5-2 record. British Columbia is on a heater right now, they won three or four in a row push their record to four and three after a sluggish start. And they're gonna get us started tonight. New Brunswick with the hammer. Lead for British Columbia, Darren Will. Second, Kevin Maffioli. Their third, Dave Toffolo. And their skip, Tom Bushy. They beat Newfoundland and Labrador earlier this morning. I guess it was our afternoon game at 12. First game of the championship pool to move the record to four and three. Looks like we're gonna have a fairly open start here. For New Brunswick, they knocked off Northern Ontario this afternoon. Their lead is Grant Odishaw. Second, Charlie yep. Sullivan. Third, yep. Mike Kennedy going, and their skip, yep. Terry Odishaw. Yeah, you got her, you got her, you got her. Whoa! Oh. Boy, Grant. Hits and rolls away from the center. Teams might play a little open here. Get started, get their sea legs under them. While they do that, I can uh, update you on the standings. In the women, yeah, at yeah. six and one, Ontario lead. Yeah. And then there's a yeah, four-way yeah. tie, actually a five-way tie for second place. Quebec, Saskatchewan, British Columbia, Nova Scotia and Alberta are all at five and two. Which way? And the men's, the class of the field so far, Alberta, they are seven and oh. Ontario and Saskatchewan are at six and one. And then at five and two, you have Quebec and New Brunswick. So lots of curling left to play this week. The rollout allows New Brunswick to try to get on some offense here. They're going to throw a corner guard. We've got eight games on the ice tonight. Men's are all on this side. The club split in half. There's eight sheets. There's the divider right down the middle of the fourth, so it's hard to see the other side, but I've got the men's games all in front of me. Newfoundland and Labrador taking on Northern Ontario. First place, Alberta taking on Saskatchewan, who's tied for second place. And then a big game between Ontario and Quebec. Quebec has two losses, Ontario just the one. Women's play, Manitoba's taking on the Yukon, British Columbia versus Alberta. Quebec and Nova Scotia, and then a big one between Sherry's. Sherry Madaw of Ontario taking on Sherry Anderson of Saskatchewan. Open hit here now no. for Charlie Sullivan. Second stone for New Brunswick. Charlie narrowly missed winning the 1990 Briar, which was held in Sault Ste. Marie. Lost a tight game to Eddie the Wrench Wernick. Eddie went on to win his second world championship that year. One of five Briars that Charlie played in. Also a 1987 Canadian Junior Champion where they knocked off my dear friend Wayne Madaw in the final. That was skipped by Jim Sullivan who's since passed, but he was not only a great, uh, great player, but a great person. Roll out there, so a chance to peel off that corner guard unable to do so so a chance now for Charlie to play the come around here ice is running about 14 and a half seconds curling everywhere We're on this one early for line. I think we're gonna crash. 
Yeah, just gonna feather tick. BC will have to play the hit here. Dave Toffolo throwing third stones for British Columbia. A little up. I knew I'd like Dave right away. He's a Montreal Canadian fan, which automatically lets you know that he's a pretty good person. They're trying to carve this one over just to save it. I think he's going to roll out to the weeds. Just a matter of whether he sticks around, but he's going to. It's a good shot. Really pulls the pulls the play. A little alliteration. I got tripped up on there. Play pulls the play away from that corner guard. Terry taking no time. He's already down here, ready to throw. Scrubbing it, he's gonna probably lose the shooter here. So a choice now for BC, they could hit that guard, just kill it, let the end potentially be blank. They could draw around it, they could draw open. I actually like this play the best. Don't have the hammer, no sense messing around with that. Although it is your own stone, I guess you could go around it for that reason. Dave's gonna whip down the peel here instead. But a nose hit. Still a tight guard though, and it is BC's rock. So if this come around here is made by Terry, who calls the game for New Brunswick and throws third stones. managed by the guys able to sink that one in buried no hesitation here from Tom he's gonna play the run back with the intern off the center line would like to give a shout out to his favorite curler, his daughter Kayla. She's 19. She plays in the under 21s out of the Kelowna Club. So a shout out to Kayla. Spent some time with Tom this week. He's one of the nicest guys I know. I've never met him before this week, but he's just an absolute gentleman. Super friendly guy. Looking to make this run back. Needs a curl. Not going to though. Roll it, Derek. Roll it. Okay. Rolled the shooter on and it's in an awkward spot for New Brunswick. So fourth thrower, Mike Kennedy, is gonna play the intern hit. Not a lot of room for him to roll. Kind of so nose is pretty good here, guys. Yeah, he said nose hit and I think that's the play. What there will be a double weight, available huh? for BC. I'm thinking just normal, okay? What do you think? Well, we had a couple of rocks over curl, so yeah, normal I think is the right way. I was talking to Mike earlier in the week and the whole uh, debacle with Team Botcher and the Darren Molding situation. He came up to me and he thought that they were just trying to make room for Kevin Martin to come in and join the team. And if you got a house to bet, bet it on that not happening. Damn, no, no, no. There is zero right. chance that Kevin Martin is coming back to play with Brendan right. Botcher. Yep, right up, right up, hard. Hurry right up! Right up! Good scrub by the guys trying to hold. He's gonna roll a little bit. Still, that's an extremely tough double. I would definitely take it on because I'm not a wise individual, but uh, it's there. It's about a quarter of a rock. It's not bad. It's not bad, yeah. It's actually, yeah. Oh. I think you have to play the double here. Tommy, you got this shot in the bag. You can play it. 
I guess we're going for it. He's going in turn going slash. He's going to up the level. This shows you how good he is. He's going to, it's too easy for him to make with the out turn. He's going to try it with the in turn. I think the out turn's a more natural shot here if you are playing the double. This is now super thin. And the amount of curls here, it's hard to hit it thin enough. Final shot here in the first. Skip Tom Bushy out of BC. And they needed to curl just to get a piece. Good shot. Get that. What a beauty. Makes a shot with the intern. Just had a little visit from Wayne Madaw. He's here to cheer on his wife, Sherry. That's the type of shot that Wayne would make. What a great throw there by Tom. Good start for both teams. New Brunswick could be happy with the blank. They get to keep the hammer going to the second end, even ends. I'll just see the other side. He wants to read the ice. I know, but just throw it. You don't need to throw it. No. Take them uh, more time than they you need like to them. for the throw through. These games are time, but I, we, we really haven't seen anybody get in any danger as far as that so far this week. So a blank on the board in the first after a great shot by Tom Bushy. Skip a BC. Just put a little note in my book to never leave him an intern slash. He made that one look easy. No scores to report so far in our other three men's games. They're still playing the first. Same with the ladies. So these guys just played a pretty quick first. And they're up and down the sheet for the most part, trading hits. Darren Will going to get us started here in the second end, looking to throw the center guard. This is Darren's first time in the Canadian Senior Men's Curling Championship, sponsored by Everest. Loves the movie Slapshot and the curler Paul Galzo. I feel that Paul could have been in the movie Slapshot. He easily could have been the character played by Paul Newman. It's too good. Down a bit. Guards yep. slid into the ring, yep. so we're going to get back to some 1980 style curling here. Play the open hit. So Darren will have a chance just to play the nose as well. He's gonna keep the shooter, rolls out to the wings. Grant's trying to tell Terry he wants to play the corner. Grant waved him off, or Terry waved him off. Interesting fun fact here. Grant Odishaw won the 1994 mixed. Yeah. And Dave Toffolo was on that team from British Columbia that Grant beat with his New Brunswick team. So these guys have known each other for a very long time. Might have to check in and see if New Brunswick bet on the under tonight because they got the opportunity to throw some corner guards. They're going to choose to trade hits. I think Terry might, uh, he might have bet heavy on the under and the over under bending you're allowed to do. And before anyone checks that out, that was a joke. We don't need a uh, scandal here. Gambling scandal at the Canadian Seniors. Big carve here trying to get Kevin's Rock over to kill this one. Just going to chip it out nicely. Over there. 
Kevin's favorite food is elk. That is also my favorite food. I love cooking game dishes, pairing it up with some nice wine. With the elk, because it's so lean, you're gonna wanna do like a sauce with it. You could do truffle butter, Easy, just a truffle sauce, yeah. a red wine sauce. It's all there. Oh, it's coming down. Definitely need some down. help. Or if you're into blue cheese, yeah, right. little uh, blue cheese shallot sauce with pork. Yep, a little more. Be great right for the here. holiday season coming up. Pair that with a nice Syrah. That's, That's your tip right. of the day right there. I don't know much about curling. I know more about uh, wine cooking and stocks. But uh, since Randy won't join us, I'm going to have to uh, do the curling by myself. Randy's a busy guy here all week, entertaining the curlers. He does a great job as the Everest yeah. ambassador. He makes me say that at least once a week. This is honestly, this is like a game uh, you, we've been watching upstairs. They've got a bunch of old curling games on uh, you can watch from YouTube. This is like 1988 called They Want Their Strategy Back. It's not a shot at the guys, I just mean it's open play. Perfectly allowed to do so. Right now, New Brunswick does not need to force the issue at all. They do have the hammer. One thing they're doing is banking a lot of time, that's for sure. Because you don't have to think a whole lot about what's going on when you're whipping down open hits. Couple scores to update. Northern Ontario, the team from the Fort William Curling Club opened up with a three-ender versus Newfoundland and Labrador. Alberta men held to a single in the first, lead Saskatchewan one nothing. And Team Ontario went to a quick start. They scored two in the first. Quebec with the hammer playing the second end here. Quebec ladies scored two. They lead Nova Scotia two nothing. BC out to a 2 0 start over Team Alberta and the ladies as well. It's been great curling here all week and better hospitality. Want to give a shout out to everyone involved here at uh, Sault Ste. Marie. We're playing at the Community First Curling Center. They've got over 100 volunteers. The Harnan brothers heading up a committee with Tom McLean club president and they should be very proud of what they've had to do because they got dealt uh, a couple little twisters leading into it from uh, Health Algoma. Sort of on half lockdown up here in the Sioux, they were able to change some plans. We had to cancel the opening and closing banquet. But they got together with Curling Canada and with Everest and we're uh, still able to find ways to make this a top-notch event and try to provide as much hospitality, albeit very safely, for the curlers. And it's uh, it's been seamless so far. So a shout out to everyone involved with this yep. event. Yep. 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 Okay, well. I'd also like to thank these guys doing the time beside me. they got to listen to me talk for two hours at a time. And uh, they're not even allowed to wear headsets to block me out or block me out. So. <laughs> They're all shaking their head right now. They wish they had some earmuffs, but uh, sorry, boys. You're stuck with it. I'd like to say back to the action, but to be honest, there hasn't been much. It's just been open hits so far. First shot here for Tom. Clean. Clean. Yep. 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 Right nice there. throw up okay. the middle here. No problem. Now be an open hit for fourth stone thrower Mike Kennedy. Manitoba ladies picked up a single in the first. They're playing Team Yukon. 
The only sheet I'm really blocked out on is sheet five. I know the two teams playing, Ontario versus Saskatchewan, but there's no way for me to see the score. But one thing you can do, and this is just a little carrot that Everest provides for this event, and they also did it at the Canadian Club Championship last week in Ottawa, Ontario, is you can check out TSN, and I'm not talking tsn.ca, which you should also be checking out because I heard the commentary is amazing. But you can go to TSN, check out Sports Center. You're going to be seeing live scores here along the ticker. Yep. And such a great uh, yep. thing for these curlers, yep. these senior curlers, and last week the elite club level players to see their name on uh, national television. So this is an easy one for Mike. He just has to skate down to the other end, whip this rock through the rings, and uh, through two, it's going to be nothing, nothing. Be interesting to see if we can get any, any action going here in the third. It's going to be up to Darren. Darren will, buddy. We need a center guard out of you to start this next end. Force the issue. End of two. Two blanks on the board. No score. Or as in soccer, they would say nil-nil. Speaking of soccer, everyone's got to check out that Ted Lasso on Apple. It's a great show to make you feel good about yourself. I'm about as uh, cynical and sarcastic as it gets, and that show can even soften me up a little bit. Still not going to make me say super nice things about Randy. But I don't know what Randy's really done to deserve it, so. So a fast-paced game so far. But not a whole lot of action going down. We'll see if they can get up a center guard here. Might over curl a hair, but it's going to be in the free guard zone. Right on our Everest logo. A little sponsorship branding there. Terry now going uh, on the offense. They could draw around that one. He's going to have Grant throw the corner guard here. Wait tonight. Hold it out a little, Charlie. Charlie, Charlie. Yeah. Find him up, Charlie. Afraid it's going to overcurl. They're trying to have Charlie brush it to keep it straight. That's good. good that's line. good. That's good. good Ends up in a perfect spot. Ah, perfect might be stretching it, but it's a corner guard. Tom's going to have Darren go way out wide here. This would be wider than they go for the draw to the button for sure. He's just trying to draw the edge of the forefoot with this one. Could be a little bit different for weights. But we've seen that uh, there should be no problem in terms of getting this to curl. And curl it did. It's going to be on the top one. You know what? If that sits down, which it did not, would have been okay. It would have left two centers that they can't make a play on. But now Terry runs up to have Grant hit it. Perfect weight. Got to come up. Come up, eh? Grant's got a full resume so much that I should have checked it out before the game because he's, uh, he's really touched on a lot of things here. Number one moment for him was winning the 94 Canadian mix that we already referenced. And then he also played with Russ Howard in the 2000 Briar final. Had an opportunity to win the first Briar in a long time for New Brunswick, but they lost that year to Macaulay out of British Columbia. So maybe tonight he can get a little revenge on that in this matchup. 
Shout out to Greg McCauley. He's one of the all time, just nicest guys in curling. Nothing bothered that guy. This one got away from them again. Actually, the chip is helpful in that it does guard a very easy tap or a split for New Brunswick. Double tap would be super easy still, but they're going to go around it. It's straight back, though. Don't mind this. Yeah, do that. Just around the corner. I don't know. I, li I like around the center yeah, here. Do that. We got two corners. They're going to play that run back. Yellow on to green. They might even kill your rock, yeah. but now you have like two corners it. still to go around. Don't mind peeling it, yeah. Try and just club it and promote Randy's got to be loving this strategy. He won two Canadian championships doing this in the 80s. Solid regular. Just noticed uh, Charlie Solid wearing the regular. toque. That might be for aerodynamics to make sure he can throw it hard enough. He's never had a problem doing that. That one just uh, hung out on him, though, unable to make the double peel. Now BC is going to nose this rock, try to get uh, control of the control zone, as Linda Moore used to say. Linda won the, I believe, the 1985 Scotties and the 1988 Olympic gold medal as a demonstration sport. Went on to do quite a bit of coaching as well. Yep, 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 yep. Shot, shot. Good shot there with the nose hit. Good one. From Kevin. Last way here. This is, uh, we've been doing games, three games a day since Monday. This is by far the most conservative play we've seen so far. Little less weight. If they're going to keep throwing open hits like this, I'm going to try to convince Wayne Madaw to join me in the booth, maybe for a couple of ends after the fourth end break. Yeah. Wayne put on an amazing performance last year at the Briar, filling in for Glenn Howard at skip. Wayne made probably three or four of the best 10 shots that were made that week. Made it in the championship pool. Lost their last game to Cooey or they would have moved on. And he is now coach of Team Hasselborg, the Swedish girls. I think they're the best team in the world. And they're certainly one of the nicest teams and most humble in the world for everything that they've done. Two European championships. They've won six Grand Slam titles, two or three world silver medals, and they're the reigning Olympic gold medalists. And in my opinion, Wayne is the best coach in the world. Followed closely by Victor Shell, who coaches Team Jones. Yeah, you gotta go, both. Yes! Let's go! In turn, draw here for Dave Toffolo throwing third Come stones on. for British Come Columbia. Come on. Come on. Really good. Go, go, go. Come on. This is Dave's Dave, first go, go. time here at the seniors. Making the most of it. Uh, if you're just joining us, BC, a four and three record. New Brunswick, five and two. The top four teams make the playoffs. They'll play 10 games overall. Top four records advance. One will play four. Two seed will play the three seed. Those are your semifinal matchups before our finals on Saturday. Yeah, take a stab at it. If you'd hit the top one, you could roll in at the right way. Yeah, yeah, do that. Been talking to Terry quite a bit this week. Yeah. Veteran player. He skipped in three Briars, and he's a 2007 mixed champion. He's also been in the seniors. This will be about his fourth senior run. Really good thrower of the, of the stone, knows the game. 
That was a pro okay, miss. They knew that was going to be a hard shot to get at. They could have played the run back. They opted to go with the intern. Curled too much, and now a good chance here for Dave to set up a force. Love to throw this one about one rock in front of the tee. Trying to do less telestrating because uh, the guys in the truck have been getting so many complaints about it. Dave's favorite on, movie is Love Actually. Go, 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 go. Hard, 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 I think he hard, might have put go. that down because it's the festive season. Natural double. There's a short run back available. I don't disagree oh, with Mike though. Double's almost a natural be about a half rock, but you do have to whip it pretty good. You've got to move the second one when you hit it Natural double. far enough. These, these rocks are about three years old. They're fairly there. lively. Okay. Not as lively uh, apparently as the rocks played in uh, some of the other events on television, which have super lively striking bands and this gear effect. Terry didn't love the double. So he's gonna play a straight run back here. Chance to run his own back onto the British Columbia Stone. Might even lay shot rock if he makes it. Charlie, yep, Charlie, Charlie, her Charlie, yep. This is a yep. spot where it's curled okay, all week. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, he's whoa, just gonna whoa, over curl. Yellow. Might get the other yellow, gonna go over the top of that. Shooter does roll onto the rings there, though. Charlie wearing the toque, able to scrub so that one in. Not stupid. I, don't want to take I like this ball. call here. I mean, there's no good place to throw a draw. There's no rock to guard. So you might as well just hit the open one here if you're Tom. Tom's favorite... Uh, TV show is Wild TV, and you put in brackets hunting channel. When I see Wild TV, I'm telling you, I watch something quite a bit different that I'm not allowed to talk about right now. Intern hit off the center line here. Love to stay. Might as well stick around in live three. Whipped it down here, some pretty good pace. It's got a curl still. No. A lot of weight. Springs off of there, but it's going to hang around in the 12 foot. Bite the eight. I kind of thought we might have went around that yellow. No easy doubles right now for fourth rock thrower Mike Kennedy. Double and then flop behind. He's calling the double and flop behind. I think he means he's going to flop behind this rock here. Double back here. Roll the shooter into this area. Now you can see why I don't tell a straight. I might be tempted just to throw the intern draw around the rock on the thrower's right because uh, the odds are I'm gonna be drawing on my next one anyway, so I might as well get in a practice draw, and if they ever miss, that draw would be for two. Solid double, great throw there by Mike, and he actually rolls close enough to the BC Stone. He could set up a double and roll out on his next as well. Really good shot. Mike wanted him to sweep the roll. They would have to kick it to get it buried, which I don't think you're allowed to do. When you're sweeping a rock that uh, is only going to go about three feet, I don't think you can add that much to it. It's not like you can drag it an extra foot. 
open hit here now. Tom would really like to stay. Good chance here to force. Trying to carve it over. Looks pretty good to me. Rolls to a good spot. And a well played end here by BC to get the force in. It's been a very open game so far. Northern Ontario continues to lead Newfoundland and Labrador 3-0. They're playing the third. Ontario off to a big start tonight against Quebec. What did he say? 4 nothing. They took two, stole two. Alberta 7-0 taking on 6-1 Saskatchewan. Alberta to a 2-0 lead. Scored one in the first, stole one in the second. Open hit here now. Opportunity to score here for Mike Kennedy. Throwing four stones for New Brunswick. Coming in with a five and two record. This one is perfect. So put one on the board for New Brunswick at the end of three in this flashback game. Flashback to the 80s, it's one nothing New Brunswick. Ladies action, Manitoba leads the Yukon, one nothing. Tied up, Quebec versus Nova Scotia, they're tied at two. BC off to a two nothing start against Alberta. Alberta replied with a single in the second. So BC leads two one with the hammer. First rock here of the fourth end for Grant Odishaw. I think this is his fifth based on his bio, fifth seniors. Ladies and gentlemen, he's back. And I've been trying to keep this under wraps for quite a while, but I want to say welcome back to my dear friend who I've never said anything bad about, Randy Furby, the six-time Canadian champion, four-time world champion, Everest curling okay, ambassador. Let's, let's talk about that. You've never said nothing bad about me in the last five minutes, maybe. I've never said anything bad about you that was not true. That wasn't true. How about that? I mean, we could both hire lawyers, sort it out, or we could just move forward and talk about, so you've been gone for the last, I would say, day and a half. You've been in deep negotiations with uh, Team Botcher. And from what I understand, you've come to a decision and it looks like you're not going to play. And um, what was the end result of your negotiation? Well, it's true that I was in negotiations, but... Uh, Due to personal reasons, I'm, I'm not, I've am not. i not to play. Personal reasons. <laughs> personal reasons. So there yep. it is, folks. They're probably in, I would say, a good solid five-day negotiation. You told me behind the scenes you were thinking about coming back, but those personal reasons are going to keep you away from it. I, uh, I hope everything's okay. I hope you're Just, well. You yeah, don't look well, by the way. Well, you don't look enough. well. Actually, I don't feel well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's been some don't late nights it. Late nights here on the road. Don't want to make light of that, but uh, yeah, it's been an excellent uh, 14 days or 12, 13 days on the road and culminating, we got a couple days left of this great event here and uh, we're excited with what we've seen and what we've done and heard positive things from the curlers. So we're, 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 we're excited with this event moving forward. So it's funny you've joined us during this game because the first three ends sort of reminded me of that 88 final that we watched yesterday with you versus Eugene Ritzik. It's been mostly up and down the sheet. Control. Yeah, it's mostly an open game and both these teams, uh, uh, I'm not sure of their standings. I'm sure you've let our viewers know that yeah. or the 
The Brunswick five and two, BC four and three. Yeah, the, you know, it's probably a must win for both these guys. You don't want to get to the third or fourth losses. I'm sure, again, you just said that, and uh, but they're still right in the mix. Yeah, absolutely. Three might be the max you can lose by the looks of it uh, on the men's side for sure. Big lead, Randy, over on sheet one there, Ontario over Quebec. Quebec's a great team, but Ontario, who's won this event before, they're up 4 nothing. Yeah, they're a good team. They, I think they've only got one loss, and that was to uh, Wade White's Alberta team. And, and Alberta's actually hasn't lost a game yet, though. So both those teams look like they're heading for the semifinals at least. So those two spots should be taken up by both those teams. And they're in the six other ones that we battling out for the final two spots. Super hit and roll behind the guard there by Kevin. Run back attempt here for Charlie. Charlie's alternating between throwing with a toque and not wearing a toque. Did you ever wear a toque when you were out there, buddy? Probably not. Couldn't get one that would fit. Or? Couldn't get the one that would fit. Yeah, I get why, that. Why, why would I want to cover this up? Hey, look at my ears, buddy. You think I can find the, this headset the boys got for me is custom made. I got satellite dishes. I stand on your roof. You get an extra 100 channels. <laughs> right? Hey, if I'm going to throw it out there, i got to take it. Do you know how expensive it is to pay for surgery to get your ears pinned back? <laughs> it's not cheap. No, I have, I have no knowledge of that one. No, I do, unfortunately. I know a lot of things, but I don't know that one. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's a lot. <laughs> Out turn draw, they're going to split the rings. Just don't want to set up an easy double. I'd imagine no matter where this stops, unless it goes through the rings, that New Brunswick's going to play that rock in the top 12. That's a good job, Matt. Good job. Rolls available. Did you see Wayne? Wayne Madaz here. I'm not sure if you saw him yet, Randy. Yeah, I seen him on the elevator real briefly. Nice to see him again. I haven't seen him in a few years actually but I was sure the last time so I'm sure we'll catch up a little bit more later. I'm gonna make him come in the booth at some point. You didn't throw much more. Line's nice. Gonna play Whoa. this out turn yeah. across Whoa. the face. Whoa. Whoa. This should curl. Whoa, Hog line in a finish Whoa. is pretty Whoa. nice. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. Yeah over curled actually. Rolls to a good spot though. What do you think here, Randy? You could hit that, but you're gonna set up probably yeah. a double. You like just draw on the other side? Well, you got last rock here. I mean, you don't want to be forced to one. I mean, he could could try to hit and kick the yellow one over a little bit too. No. Like you mean with a rock, I, you can't yeah. just kick it, right? Yeah. 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 I was gonna right, say, right, no right, one right, you right, want right. all those briars just <laughs> kicking rocks all over the place. <laughs> I mean, they're still in control. They got last rock, you, you, you know, they're one down. Pick his spots. I think playing this hit, the odds are you're gonna look at a blank end. He actually did kick that one over, like you said. Yeah. This double's not easy. They might just try to hit and roll in front, I think. So catch up, Terry's throwing the third stones here. He calls the game for New Brunswick. Mike Kennedy throwing skip rocks. Something you're quite familiar with in your day. Made that uh, somewhat successful Ruben with four line. Briar titles in five years. Oh. I just can't believe you'd find three guys that would want you to call the game, but it seemed to work. It did. It took a lot of persuasion to get that to happen. It's just you got to realize that Dave, He's, he's probably the worst rock crawler of all time, and he would he would probably uh, agree with me. So the team Dave, you got my cell number. If you Dave, want to disagree, feel free to text me. We can get your uh, Dave, response you're, to that hey, on Dave, air. Dave, you're not going to call the game no more, but you can throw. Okay? Yeah, Just you can now. throw. <laughs> That's right. And he can water ski. He's good at that, yes. too. Big scrub here early. This is dangerous. This is where it really, really curls. Cannot afford to jam this stone. A lot of yelling going on, able to just kill it. And it uh, looks like we're going to be headed for another blank here. I bet the under on this one. I had, you know, prior to all, you know, I like to watch all the games, do the studying. That being said, 
also well, had the under in the Alberta Manitoba ladies game, and that final was 10 9, so that one hurt me. <laughs> Open hit here. Would like to stick around. You'll be in front of the T line. They'll be trading hits yeah. here. And imagine BC sure. will try to blank the end. I mean, there are some positives about playing a game like this, running them up and down. You'll be out of work in about 45 minutes. Yeah, there are positives. It's a fast <laughs> game. And I mean, I haven't been confused by any of the strategy yet. You know how confused I can get. So it's been pretty easy. But yeah, they're playing at a pace. Yeah. I, I think they got dinner reservations tonight because they're just whipping them up and down the sheet. I hear we're going to have there's some game tomorrow. There's going to be some money on the line or something like that. Yeah, we're sitting around again. Again, you know, like when I first was on this on this telecast at the beginning of the week, we're always trying to, like I said, we're always trying to do something different and unique and and. Uh, for the teams that are playing the seeding positions, I know it's not a whole lot of fun for them. You know, they. No, I've been so, in those seeding yeah, games you myself. Know, and, and they got to get up early and they got to play, and it's just for finish sixth to eighth or ninth to tenth or whatever. So we decided to have the top two teams in the women's and the top two teams in the men's from the seeding position. So basically, the ninth and tenth place teams after the round robin. We're, we're going to put a little money online for them and, you know, have a little bit of fun out there, have some announcing on the ice. and. That's and, great. Uh, and just try something a little different. Good opportunity for the girls. This is a meaningless game in terms of uh, the events, but uh, with that cash on the line, is it going to be men versus women? Uh, no, we're going to just go straight with the men versus men. If you would have okay. if you would have answered your call this afternoon, you would have been in those meetings, Pete, to, to give your input. <laughs> it's a little well, late right now. I got news for you. Bought your phone <laughs> me once you said no, so now, now we're... Right. You know. <laughs> they... Offered me actually just the sixth six man position. It's a good position for you. It's actually, it's great. I'm position pretty good at it. Actually, <laughs> plenty of strengths. I've always been better off the ice than on. Yeah. I think we got to get Charlie Took trending. Maybe uh, somebody oh. can form a Twitter account at Charlie Sullivan's Took. I like it. Big fan of the Took. Match is pretty good too. I mean, I can't wear them through my ears, but. 68, bring that a little deeper in So is this the final rock here? It's hard to keep track with all these hits, but I think this yeah, is the yeah. blank attempt here for Tom Bushy. He's close to Whoa. sticking around on this one. Whoa, that means you can get off at that point. That is a single on the board. Little mistake there from Tom. They're now tied with New Brunswick, one to one. New Brunswick will have the hammer when we come back to the Canadian Senior Men's and Women's Curling Championships brought to you by Everest in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario after this commercial break. the shy, quiet kid who loved math. But when I saw math come alive in the geometry of the game, I found my passion and my voice. It's a game of precision, a game of inches. It's the equation that now defines who I am.
One might say I was born to overcome challenges. Two months premature, in and out of the hospital, and a heart condition. My parents call me their miracle baby. As with all survivors, I searched for my place in this world, and I found it here. This pebbled ice is where I battle now, and at only 12, I am already a five-year veteran of this sport. I have my sights set on the Olympics. I will push hard to get there. The only size that matters in this sport is the size of your dreams. should really be curling. This ice is everything. It's where I come to feel close to her, to feel whole. This building helped raise me when my mother no longer could. When I step on the ice, she steps with me. My dad is my rock. We are a team now, like the four of us when we step on the ice. People say that this isn't a contact sport, but that's not true. It contacts you where you need it the most. Welcome back, curling fans. We are live from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario at the Community First Curling Center for the Everest Senior Men's and Women's Curling Championships. We have a tight battle here. It's been a fast game. They've been whipping them up and down the sheet. We're tied at one through four. Team British Columbia taking on the team from New Brunswick. New Brunswick with the hammer and a five and two record. BC comes in at four and three. I think three might be the max number of losses you can afford on the men's side. Events started with 14 teams. You played two pools of seven, six games in the round robin. Top four teams advance to this championship pool. And the top four will move on to a semis and a final from there. So four would be dicey, I would think. Nice center guard there by Darren Will of BC to get us started. Randy put in 15 minutes of work and now he's gone. That one slides deep, but I mean, it actually doesn't really even hurt New Brunswick because BC, they're gonna make a play on this. They could afford, if they want to ignore it, draw around, they could throw a second center, but uh, as we've seen in the game, it's been played fairly close to the vests. Gonna have to sweep this one. If he's only back line, this is gonna curl a ton. 
It's going to navigate the guard, but he might miss the back one. Just chipped it. Enough to get it out. Checking to see if the shooter is in or out. More, Not only out of the rings, but out of play. So a chance here for Grant throwing lead stones for New Brunswick. Sink one around this center guard again. Yeah, hold the line. Get lots of weight. Hold the line. Weight's pretty good. Eh? Lots of weight. Okay, you're good. You're top it's four Boston. Again. It's gonna over curl. You're top four Doesn't again. Need curl. At, At least. least. This Good. one's sort of not a lot of handle on it. You can see at the end there, sort of a dead duck coming in there a bit. That's why you're getting all that late finish. It's sliding sideways as opposed to moving forward. Perfect weight though by Grant. Kevin Maffioli playing the intern freeze here. Haven't laid a brush to this one. It's never great when you're throwing a draw. So a little heavy, gonna slip into the back 12. Chance now for New Brunswick. They could draw another one in. They could throw a high guard, which I don't love. I love going in, or you could draw open. Top eight barrier. is a call. This is a nice yeah, aggressive call barrier, here yeah. from Terry. Good, point. Good chance for Charlie to bury one in here. I like the Mike, just judge, okay? Don't a lot of Odishaws, a lot of Sullivans curling out in New Brunswick. One point in time, you weren't allowed to be a men's curler out of there unless you had one of them on your team. Whoa, 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 whoa. We went over there. Really nice yeah, weight here. Yeah, it was actually easier to get there that way. Well it? managed so stone, sure and that's, uh, that's a good spot. The line will come. It'll vary. Yeah, I, I think Kevin now, he's forced to play this run back. Would love to stick it. You wouldn't kill both greens. You might even jam on the back, actually, but uh, you would save your shooter. And it looks like they might need a center guard this end to get them out of trouble. Hate to just peel this one off, though. It's fine. Yeah, not only does it miss the back, but it, uh, it's now a corner guard. So a good chance here for Charlie to draw another one around in here. Potentially set up a pretty big score for New Brunswick if they're able to execute. Yeah, you can go a little. Lots of room. Oh, 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 oh it's nice. Oh, We're one higher than the other one, don't we? Or, or well behind. A couple of scores from the ice. Northern Ontario, oh, when they come out of the break, will be leading oh, yep. Newfoundland yep. and Labrador 3-1. Yep. Northern Ontario with the hammer. Alberta, Alberta scored singles in the first, second, and third, and they lead Saskatchewan 3-0. Oh, Ontario, Quebec, Ontario leading 4-0 in that Might one. Those are all men's games. Actually, Quebec just put a single up in four, so they're in some trouble now. They're down three without. Playing the boys out of Ottawa. Manitoba women out to a 5 nothing lead over the Yukon. Quebec, Nova Scotia in a barn burner. It's 5-4 Nova Scotia at the fourth end break. Quebec with the hammer in five. My opinion, Quebec's been the dark horse of the field here in the ladies' play. They don't have as much experience at Scotties and championships or any Grand Slam events or anything like that, but uh, they lost an extra end game to Ontario at 12 today, but there's still five wins, two losses right in the thick of it. 
BC leads Alberta 3-1. They're in the fourth end. Alberta with the hammer. And then the last I saw in the Battle of the Sherries, Team Ontario versus Team Saskatchewan, it was the team out of Saskatchewan, the Nutana Curling Club leading 2-0. Out turn double is possible here for Dave. Showing a heater, but uh, they don't love it. It's over curled. Okay. Six. Not bad though, it's definitely a rock. I mean, they, they have to deal with. It's gonna be hard for them to roll to a place where there won't be a double. So Terry's going to play a little soft in turn here, try to hit this yellow one, roll out to the wing. So what are you thinking? I think it's just board. Yeah, I really like the weight choice here. Terry wants to throw board weight at this. Board, I'll give you more. Board's a great weight choice for a few reasons. One, you can manipulate the rock with the sweepers quite a bit better with directional sweeping. And two, he's a little worried that if it curled too much, he's gonna clip off their green and he wants to make sure he yep. doesn't have enough yep. weight yep. to remove his stone. Yep. Yep. Never leave it. Yep, yep, keep her going, Charlie. Big scrub here keep by going, Charlie. Keep her going, keep her going, keep her going, keep her going. Keep her going. Yep, 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 yep. And you can see there, he did chip his right own one. So had he thrown more, rate, more weight, that one, that he was worried about it getting out of the rings, that it could have been possible. Really nice weight choice there by Team New Brunswick. They now have British Columbia in a little bit of trouble. There's a double here that they could make. Yeah. Other than that, there's really not a lot. This section, that, that scenario is not excellent for them, I don't think. I mean, if you had to, you could probably make that triple if you were forced to, but it's thin enough that you're risking uh, flashing it and causing further problems for yourself. He's trying to hit and roll over towards the rock in the back eight. He could even stop right in the forefoot behind the center guard. It's gonna be another over curl. He's gonna nose that. One more nose hit though, and the double will be a lot easier. In turn, hit now for Terry. Soft control, real nice and fine. Yeah, go Charlie. Yeah, keep her going, Charlie. Yep, yeah, keep her going, Charlie. Really have to work on this yeah, one yeah, to hold yeah, it. Yeah, it's yeah, curling yeah, and it'll yeah, finish hard, here. Charlie, hard, yeah, no hard, 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 hard. Oh, go, yeah, go right. Really go, nice go, go, weight go. there, able to keep the shooter, but it's probably the reason it curled as much now. This one's a little more com comfortable, obviously, for BC. I think Randy would even make this one, and he hasn't thrown a rock in five years. Yeah, I so. Whatever you like, it's good here. There. This is the spot where Tom threw that slash double. Great shot in the first end. This double's easy. He might even be able to roll his shooter in behind the green rock that's just biting the eight foot. That'd be bonus points. Steal yep, yep. of three on sheet. 
to Alberta now to a 6 nothing lead over the Saskatchewan men. That's a beauty. It comes out in the open, but it's still a very good shot. This is not easy for New Brunswick. Mike's going to have to be careful with this one. This is a spot we've seen it really, really, really curls. Just got an update on sheet five. Three two BC leading Alberta. So they were able BC to force Alberta to a single. When they come out of the break, they'll have the hammer leading Cheryl Bernard by one. It's a big battle there. You got the 2010 Olympic silver medalist taking on the five time Canadian champion. That is how deep we are here at the seniors. Just great talent all over the ice, men's and ladies. We've said it throughout the week. We have the last six men's champions in the field. Control. You need this one to curl. If his weight's okay, it will. One, you got the carve. Two, it curls big. Able to save that one. That was really nice weight from Mike. That was the key. You always hear that from Russ Howard on TSN talking about uh, how teams, they just have to pick the right weight for the shot. And Mike did on that one. Now we got Tom here. He's already made one slash double. He's going to take on another one here. Final shot for BC here in the fifth. Yep, yep. Out turn hey, slash W. You miss most hey, of these from over curl. And this one does the same. So real easy chance now for New Brunswick. It'll be the first crooked number we've had on the scoreboard so far this game. It's been played pretty tight. No guarantees that the point's on the board yet. Randy's not giving them two yet. We're looking at an 80. Thanks. It was nice to have Randy drop in for 15 minutes. No, mine's He's doing far mine more important things here. here. And he said I was an 80 up here. So I think for Mike, we're looking for a 70. -ish. It's going to be hard Between for them to give them a time because they haven't thrown a draw all game. They've just been up and down the sheet throwing hits. Better not throw nine seconds or that's going to be a little bit heavy. I'd say you're looking for about a four, 4.05. If I could count it in my head. I think I got about 4.91 there. They haven't laid a brush to this one yet. Need it to stop. It's starting to curl now, though, so it's going to be okay. And put two on the board for New Brunswick. They lead 3-1 after five. We'll be back for the sixth end. British Columbia will have the hammer. Big end coming out of the break there. It's been uh, not tons of action in the game so far, but uh, well controlled end there by New Brunswick. They're trying to stay in the thick of it. They're five and two. These scores hold up tonight. Alberta's gonna move to eight and zero. Oh. Ontario's gonna be seven and one. And I mean, there's still lots of curling left. But if you're British Columbia, I don't think you can afford to go to a fourth loss. So they gotta find a way to battle back in this one.
Big scrub by the guys to get that one in there. That's well swept. Two point lead. They didn't want to come up short. Uh, I, don't have, I softened it. I didn't have a lot of room. Darren's going to throw the corner guard here. Try to get some offense going. Need this one to hit the brakes. It's going to in time. Closer to the center line maybe than what they want, but still a nice corner guard up there for Darren. Grant's gonna throw a tight little capper on his rock in the eight foot. I, th I think they'd be fine if he slipped in the rings or just a foot short. Called for it just tight. It's going to slide in, and that is fine. No harm there. I like that there, Terry. If I'm BC, I'm not playing those rocks anyway. I like this. He's going to go up. Have Darren throw a high guard here was the original call. Hopefully, they stick with it. You can't hit. No, this is uh, less than ideal when you're down two. Need a second guard here in play. New Brunswick shown their ability to just try to play defense throughout the game. So the best way to combat that is with some more hardcore offense. So I really would have liked to see the second guard here. And then if you're gonna hit, you absolutely have to stay. Able to do that, it's a good shot. I still, I don't know. I like these guys, I'm gonna see them after, but I do, do really like the corner guard there. Especially sixth end. Regular up. Regular British up. Columbia scores two here. Not only have they tied the game, but there'll be one hammer each. So they're in a very good position. Potentially to win the game. They could force score their two coming home. You can see now, I like this call. They're gonna ignore everything and draw, but there's just one guard up. And it's a short guard. It'll be a short little run back play for New Brunswick. So I say it a lot, but if the kids are watching at home, one, it's not too late, so you should continue to watch. And two, throw two guards up in this scenario. That's what the five rock rule is for. Lights kid! Kevin Maffioli looking to draw around this tight little corner. Good scrub by the brushers here. It's a really good shot, but you can see how short this run back is now for Charlie. Two tracker. Charlie, this is the, sh Mike, this is the shot. This is the shot. Tukes back on. Charlie can get both of these. I'm not even sure what the debate yeah, is. Yeah. I mean, this is the yeah, shot for fun. Oh my God. What is going on? Mike. Grant Odishaw can't believe it. He doesn't even know what Mike's doing here. You don't like that? You don't like just tapping that? No. Okay. We get rid of the corner. I gotta be honest. I don't, Mike Kennedy, one of the nicer people you're ever gonna meet, but uh, there is no question this is the right shot. Maybe he's just trying to get in his 10,000 steps going up and down the ice there because uh, Terry had a handle on this and uh, Grant was all over it as well. That and this is Charlie's bread and butter. He loves to whip him up and down the ice. Shot. Very good, good shot there. Good call. Is that where you're playing it? That's how you're going over the top, right? That one might have over curled and got fortunate to make it, but uh, when you throw that much weight, you can move some granite. Good sportsmanship there by Tom, giving him a good shot. Like I said, I've gotten to know these guys from BC a little bit throughout the week. They got off to a really, really slow start. I know they were down and disappointed, but they found a way to regroup. 
moved the record to four and three, so they're still in the thick of it, but they need to come back tonight and win this game. This one's not gonna work out. Just a dead over curl there from Kevin. You could draw around these guards if you wanted to because that should be the shot BC's playing. I think you need to beat them to the spot and draw around these two guards. Could go there. That's exactly what they're you thinking at the here. far end as well. There's good. Don't think you want to focus on where you, you can't be. You want to focus on where you're going to be. Terry's got great touch. So they're going to play the intern, draw around these guards. Line. Opportunity to take away that play from British Columbia if he can sink this one in here. Right to my Ken, brush. you can't be heavy. Right to my brush. Still good, right to my brush. Right to my brush. Sweepers yep. taking yep. their yep. time yep. on this one. Yep. Yep. This is pretty much perfect. Yep. Yep. Uh, really well played, Stone Terry. Excellent shot. Well placed by the brushers. Good communication with Mike and a great throw there by Terry. Chap and lie. I love that call. We used to call the chap and lie all the time. Means you're just throwing back ring weight, just trying to kiss off of another stone. But I'll tell you what, the level of difficulty on this one is, I would say a 10 out of 10. He's trying to squeak this here. These guys switched it up. Squeak this in, just kiss off of that. Have the shooter roll in here somewhere. This is hard, because this curl's huge. No one's been out this wide. It's a guess on the weight. I'd be sweeping it, because it is going to curl. There's no question it's going to curl here. Just kissed it. Does open up the back one now, but... Uh, that was unfortunate. That was a very good throw by Dave. Just whiskered it. He's got that again. He's got it again, but uh, you can beat him to the spot here with the intern draw. I absolutely think that's the play. I think if you play, if we can get a shot of the rings. If you were to play here, they're just gonna come around here anyway. So you need to beat them. Thanks guys, Line's you need okay. to beat them to Line's that spot. And this That's appears really to be the line. call. Not only that, Terry just really threw this shot. So he has a really good idea of what yep. this does, really as do the line. sweepers. Good. So I good really line. like this yep. call. That stops in a very good spot if it's high enough that there's no double. Yeah, but they're shot. That was a really good shot there by Terry Odeshaw. Two beauties from him this end. They could hit and roll in off of this one, get into this area here. Obviously, green would still be shot rock, though. And there's really no way to make a play on this rock here. This one probably will stay if so New Brunswick side. would be perfectly comfortable, even if they make the roll in here, New Brunswick could throw a, a guard somewhere around the Everest logo. Two, two beauties by Terry. Really like the strategy call this end to go around these corners, try to take them away from BC, and now BC's in a bit of a mess. Yeah, let's hit this because you gotta open it up. If we try and tap this, this opens it up too. Right? I don't disagree. 
with Tom. He, he's got to find a way to score here now more than anything. Yeah. So they could play. They could play uh, the, a hit on the top green ones here. Potential to uh, kill two for sure, maybe three, but what they can definitely do is open up the shot rock. So they're going to throw a peel weight, hit this rock here. You can get rid of these top two very easy. You might even get rid of this one here. And then the key is to get your shooter somewhere over here and open up this rock. So a lot of action happening here. You want to hit, I would say, close to the nose, three quarters. Be great if you could get out of the way of shot rock. They hate it out of his hand though, it's out there. Way out there. And uh, that's a tough one. I'm just gonna say I really, really like Dave, so I'm just gonna give him a pass. That's his uh, get out of jail free card. He's making it curl, you know? He would've picked the back one. He just touched it. Yeah, but it's not to get shot. We can't get shot. I think we go here, Terry. I don't wanna leave a guard because he'll come out and tap and take the end away. Yeah, What do you think about here? So they're looking to throw a green stone right here. They don't want to throw a high guard because that will allow just, just a draw top, around even here even top eight, and take good. away this end. I just don't want to leave him. Uh, so I really like this. Around, you, know? you just need to be tight thinking, to the like rings within uh, rock of the rings maybe. If you. you slide yeah. into the 12 foot, that's okay too. It's more 80, a line 80, shot 80. than weight well, for sure. Though, so. right. And you just that's don't want to hang it up there too high. 80. Tough spot now for Tom in this end. First shot here in the sixth. New Brunswick leading Whoa. British Columbia three to one. Whoa, lots of weight there. I think they need this one to settle down. Let it die. It's wow. right to it. It's right to it. Real heavy. Oh, oh, man, that's just I honestly don't know if brutal. that could end up in a worse spot. There's now with the yellow rock. Yellow rock they can play basically double, that. We, double we and roll there. buried. They have a catcher on the side even. Play down here. This onto this, green rock goes this way, other one goes this way, your shooter could go just in here. This rock, you could jam on. Unfortunate for Mike, he just threw that one a hair heavy. This still has to be made though. But put it this way, BC's happier now than they were 45 seconds ago, that's for sure. swept that one a hair. The double was easy. They needed to really gamble to try to make the roll. Because now this is a super easy shot for Mike and if he noses it, it's going to be a tough draw for Tom on his last. You must have threw my rock, Tom. Anywhere. No anywhere. Just roll anywhere. You could roll anywhere, like he Even said. Good. You could nose it. I would absolutely right be playing hit. the nose hit here. Force him to go wide with the intern draw in a spot that uh, Tom has not thrown a draw, I don't the believe, in this game so far. Final shot here in the sixth and for New Brunswick. Leading 3-1 without the hammer. Yep, Perfect down. opportunity to force here. Whoa. Whoa. Like this one to Charlie. curl a bit. Charlie. Whoa. Shot. Yeah, that's perfect. 
I don't think he can hit here. I think he got a drop. Like, they're questioning you think it's there. Why don't you just throw an intern draw? You know it's there. I don't know if this is here. You got a draw here, boys. 100%. I don't care if this is there or not. You have to draw here. I don't take many stances. I took one last game, and I'm taking this one. This is a draw shot, 100%. No question. I mean, if you're trying to get on TSN top 10 highlights, maybe you want to play this one, but I don't think that's going to help you on the scoreboard. I don't get this at all. I'm just mesmerized by this. Somebody help me. Anyone? You guys are on my side. You have to draw here. Love Tom to death. But uh, they're not even sure this shot is there and they're playing it. And if it's not there, you give up potentially a steal of two. It's one for sure. Where I'll tell you what is there. The intern draw out wide and if you touch a four foot, you score. So he's whipping this one down anyway. I hope he makes it. Yeah, and he does. It's a great shot, but I mean, at the same time, he's throwing one down there. He's not sure he's there. He's a beauty, though. The old circus shot specialist, Tom Bushy, puts one on the board there for BC. But they're going to trail 3-2 as we head to the seventh. I got confirmation from Victor Shell. Victor Shell, coach of Team Jennifer Jones, who's off to the Olympic Games. Victor is a 2013 world champion, 2014 Olympic gold medalist, and just a great all-around guy. Married one of my dear friends. He now lives in Whitby, Ontario. Shout out to his daughter, the Guzzy Beals. I hope you're watching. He agreed you have to draw there. I mean, that was a great shot. Take a look, Dave. Pretty cool to watch. Yeah. But uh, no harm, no foul. Great to see him get the single. Keep this game going. Got their work cut out for him now. Going to have to play very aggressive these last two ends. Terry's going to have Grant draw the wing here. Up one with. Really like this call. Yep. No need to clutter the center. Yep. Hard. Hard boys. Alberta now stretches their lead to seven nothing in the men's game versus seven Saskatchewan. Seven so the they're probably playing their final end there. Okay. Okay. Ontario up 4-1 over Quebec playing six. Ontario has the hammer. That's a very dominant performance tonight for those guys. Four-one lead, Northern Ontario over Newfoundland and Labrador. They're in the sixth. Quebec women in a five-five tie with Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia with the hammer. Manitoba ladies up seven to one. They're playing the sixth, so Manitoba is going to win and go to five and three. We've got two more games tomorrow here from Sault Ste. Marie, the Everest Senior sure, Curling man. Championships, men's and women's action. Top four teams looking to punch their ticket to the playoffs. Can I go around right there? now, Alberta looks like right, the team to beat in the men's. Ontario's gonna be tough. New Brunswick's in the thick of it. If they can hold on tonight, they'd okay. be six and two, tied with Saskatchewan. They're gonna lose to Alberta. Is it there? It's gonna drag when we feel. We gotta be here. That's it. 
women's play right now. Ontario leads at six and one, but then you have five teams at five and two, so it's not even worth talking about their playoff scenarios yet because there's just way too much clutter at the top. There's an easy double peel set up there with those two yellows, so I like this call here. You draw around anywhere in the eight foot. Don't even have to be buried. And then with your next one, you can go up and peel those two yellows for fun. Again, you got Charlie whipping down the out turn. That's his bread and butter. Tough spot here. Darren didn't get his guards in the best spot. There is a double available. They're going to try to fix it by tapping them a bit. This is a tricky little shot, and one that I guarantee you Kevin doesn't throw too much. It's very rare. You see a little tap on two guards. I like this call, actually. You can go right around the works here. You could use the green rock they just threw as a guard as well, because this will curl in there that far. So an outturn come around here for Kevin Maffioli. Ontario now 6-1 up on Quebec. They're playing the seventh. Nova Scotia just put three on the board, so now they lead in the ladies 8-5 over Quebec. Huge three-ender there. And it looks like BC, they hung a big end on Alberta. They're up 6-2 now as well. That's in women's play. This is an easy double peel here for Charlie. Made the double peel that the shooter's in the way a little bit of the outturn draw. Kevin uh, sunk one in there with his outturn, buried behind. Like I said, that it got all the way behind that green one. They're going to throw up a center guard here. Spot it really curls. Got to make sure you get out to it here with some handle or it'll overcurl. Like I said, that's uh, what we've seen all week there. A little bit of a lazier handle. You get the over curl, and now uh, you could peel this, or you could play the run back here with Charlie. Green on the yellow. I like that call. Regular. And so do they. Regular. Regular weight. My regular weight, if it was a draw to the four foot, was usually back eight. In turn, run back here, second stone, Charlie Sullivan. Looking to remove the rock in the back four. Beautiful throw, great shot. Still some guards in play though for BC, they've got a chance. Dave can draw around with his in turn through the hole. There's plenty of curl to get this one in there buried. Yeah, we still got the draw. Big scrub on the draw here, trying to get it past the guard, able to do so, needed to stop now. Really nice throw there by Dave. I think we'll see a run back here probably from Terry throwing third stones here. 
He likes the out. He wants to play it across the face. This one? No, this one. Mike's very yeah, confused at the other there. end right now. Yeah, but which way are you hitting it? <laughs> this way? You coming in? I'm getting when I, I'm buying what Terry's selling. I think Mike's in a different shopping mall right now, but they could finally got on the same page. Real close. Jess gonna over curl, but he peels the guard off. That's fine. Not even close to the same page. Yeah, just <laughs> I just heard Terry say, not even close to the same page. Dave's gonna try to probably just throw the guard on his rock. In the forefoot. He's going to get called back down by Tom. They've got tons of time. First four hands are just throwing hits up and down the sheets. So uh, both teams haven't wasted a lot of time on strategy. It's been pretty easy for me to follow. Randy found it a little too tough, though, because he quit after one M. He's sitting beside me right now. He hates me so much. I love you, brother. Now he won't even acknowledge me. It's hurtful. Randy's job to entertain this week. He brought in his dear friend Al Hackner, the Iceman, the two-time world champion, 1982-1985. Great to see Al again. Got a chance, the first time I ever played with uh, Al, actually the second time I ever played with Al was in this curling club right here. Whoa. I don't know if I love this call. Hurry. Trying to steal, this is not gonna get the job done. He's gonna hit, good scrub here by Mike, able to sweep it far enough, I believe that Second stone is going to be New Brunswick. You had to throw the guard there. Trying to steal. Wasn't even a great force situation. Now a real chance here, and he just threw it down this path for Terry Odishaw to make the double. Yep, yep. And with no center yep. guards in play. Gonna be serious trouble for Team New Brunswick. Final score, Alberta 8-0 over Saskatchewan. I'll see those guys at breakfast again tomorrow. Double was made. They now lie three. No choice here, but for Tom, he's gonna go in turn draw off the center line, try to lock one onto that rock, just biting the back eight foot. The only other shot he has is to draw around the rock in the top 12. He'd leave a short run back, but at this stage, you're a little bit desperate. You're gonna need maybe a, a miss shot or a half miss. How to skip Mike Kennedy throwing fourth rocks. Got a final. Ontario men guy. knock off the Quebec men, so you've got Alberta at 8-0, and oh, Ontario at 7-1. and one. Quebec drops to 5-3. and three. Their crossover games today were tough. Quebec, uh, they're 5-1 and one in the pool. They lost to the undefeated Alberta in the one loss, Ontario. Still a great team out of Quebec. But they're gonna have to fight tomorrow, and win two games. This is a nice looking draw here from Tom. That's really good. Didn't lock it on, but it's in a really good spot. Curls enough though, and I can see why Tom's just slightly frustrated. That could have been locked right on. And there will be enough room here. Mike, if he can match weight with speed, Wait with speed. Wait with line. He'll be able to make a play on this yellow one here for sure. Be able to just chip it out. Pack 
weight kind of shot here. Weight call is hack weight. Mike Kennedy throwing four stones here for New Brunswick. His first shot in seven. They're one up with the hammer right now. But maybe a chance to put a big number on the board, move their record to six and two. Really like the weight choice here. And have Grant try to carve it over the whole way. Really needs to curl. And that's a very good shot. Well swept, well called. Weight was the key there. Mike was able to throw it, and now they lie four. And this time, Tom's going to absolutely have to lock this one on or play the intern draw. I think the safer shot is the intern draw. You lock it on, there's no deuce available. If you draw around the center, there's always gonna be a run back and if it's made, the game's over. Tom makes this, he can live to play another day. Force him to a single, you'd have the hammer coming home two down, but it's five rock rule, you can get up a couple corner guards. Scrub here from the boys trying to drag this down. They're not going to be able to, though. Just lost its momentum, ran out of rings. Don't know who's lying what, though. Need to take a pick or a peek around. New Brunswick's definitely first shot. Might be second at the back as well. So this could be a draw for three or a split for four. I think the three is enough. You get three here, you're up four coming home. But there's no harm in playing the split either. As long as you throw a weight that's going to stay in the rings and you touch the rock you're aiming at, you get three. If you miss the rock you're aiming at with the proper weight, you get three. So I like the split here. Why not? Plus, if they go five up, then uh, we might be out of here tonight. Just thinking about the guys in the truck who have had a long day. Probably that same weight, really. I think with the ice they're taking here, they're, they're playing the split. Obviously, you could just play the straight tap. You get three. If you miss the rock, you're splitting, you get three. This is just a weight shot. Mike needs to make sure he just throws eight foot weight here. Huge difference being four up versus three up. And I know that's captain obvious in terms of math, but just uh, you don't see any four-enders at this level. T-line! T-line! Yep. They like it out of his hand. T-line weight. They're scrubbing it now for the line. But again, not enough weight to get the split, but uh, they think it's three. Nice shot there by Mike. He threw really nice weight there. Had to throw it a hair harder for the split, but the split wasn't necessary. Guaranteed they're three, and it looks like they're going to be up six to two here. Be interesting to see if the guys continue. So in the men's, we've got an Ontario victory over Quebec, Alberta over Saskatchewan. Right now, Northern Ontario leading Newfoundland and Labrador 4-2 with the hammer. Women's Nova Scotia broke open their game against Quebec. Manitoba well in front of the Yukon. 
I didn't want to throw uh, anything like more than that. They're going to measure here. It's a key measure. I think if it ends up being three, you might see a concession here. Don't know if anybody's around to give me the update on the Ontario-Saskatchewan ladies game. I cannot see it from where I'm sitting. BC, BC women are leading Alberta 7-2. So BC is going to win tonight. Nova Scotia is going to win tonight. Manitoba is going to win tonight. But a big game between the Sherrys. Team Ontario, Sherry Madoc coming in with a record of 6-1. and one. Saskatchewan 5-2. and two. Sherry Anderson has won this event three times before. Three-time Everest Canadian Cedar Ladies Champion. Going to wheel this around. New Brunswick was pretty sure it was them. We're going to measure this for a second time, so it might be close. Well, it's obviously close. And I'm hearing yellow. So we'll wait to see what they put on the board. The game Saskatchewan ladies taking on Ontario. Saskies up four to one. If they win the game, they'll drag Sherry back to Sherry Madaw back to two losses. And there'll be a log jam in first place. Still don't know what the score is here. I'm assuming it's two. Yeah, if it was four four point lead, they'd be throwing this one through the rings or we might have seen handshakes actually. Three point lead, they're gonna lob this one down into the top okay. four foot. Yeah, we're pretty good. Okay. But well done. Now we can chug it through. At least they got something they gotta deal with. The score is up. It's five two New Brunswick here. Eighth end action of the Everest Canadian Senior Men's and Women's Curling Championships. My name is Peter Stesky. I am your host here. We're going to hope to get Wayne Madaw in the booth tomorrow. He's off to his first ever Olympic Games as a coach. Unable to ever go as a player. And Wayne, in my opinion, is the most talented player of all time. One world championships playing second, third, and skip. Yeah, Wayne is coaching Team Hasselborg out of Sweden for those just tuning in. He's been coaching them for the full quadrennial. So, I mean, it's weird. You make a coaching change after you've already won an Olympic gold medal. They brought in Wayne. They've now won six Grand Slams in less than four years. So he's earned his pay. I like the intern guard here. Good. Try to even the mob. Get it over. This Come is on. an excellent attempt at the high Hurry. corner, but it was a much tougher shot than needed. And they're trying to just drag it over the line and they do not do so. She gone. 
That was a harder shot than necessary for Darren. They could have just played the intern draw there, tried to even them out, but uh, it's not like he missed by a lot there. He missed by like three inches. He can't afford to just freeze to his own. There was going to be a double peel. I like this play actually. Might as well double or just peel your own rock out. After that, you're just making peels. Your rock could get in the way as a possible jam, so why not just uh, clear, clean it up here? Chance for yep. New Brunswick to peel this game out. Clean, clean. Charlie's been whipping him down the sheet tonight. Still very good control of his fastball. I think they're gonna throw a second corner guard now. Would have liked to have seen this one on the last one. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah we're at least there. Okay. Sit down, baby. Here, map. Chop, map. Really, they only need one miss right now. If you're BC, you can get your two corner guards up. The theory is you go around one, they peel that off. You go around the other one. New Brunswick would hit the open, and then with your next one, you draw around that same guard. So you're lying two buried. But they're going to need to get some cooperation from the team from the Moncton Curling Club. They need a, a miss peel if you're British Columbia right now. It's getting late. There's only four rocks left for New Brunswick. Corner guard Line's here good. for Kevin Maffioli. Line's good. Big scrub to get this one over. It's going to be pretty high to use and a potential double peel. You might ignore that one, actually. It's the high one. I don't think if they get around that, it's going to be much use, but it uh, doesn't really matter, I guess, at this stage. Terry Odishaw is going to peel this one out with his intern. By peel it out, I mean hit it as thin as possible and still just chip it out of play. Full mark still though. Probably one more guard, I'm thinking, eh? One more guard there. Think at this stage you actually have to go in. One more guard does not help you. You've got to go in on this one and now you hope when they peel, they run your guard straight back on your rock in the rings and jam it there so you can draw around again, but uh, no sense throwing up a corner, corner guard in this situation. Life's good. Good. Life's good. Life's good. Life's good. Life's good. Life's good. Dead. Go deep. Dead. Go deep. Dead. Go deep. Dead. Go deep. Go deep. Come on, man. Go deep. Oh, we need to fit three more, though. <laughs> <laughs> nice draw there. You could play the the run back here, but a uh, more prudent play is actually just to Whoa. make the straight peel. Clean, clean, yep. Go Don't want to risk a straight run back and stick it. So a nice throw there by Terry. And now this game's pretty much over. Good shots. Update in the six, BC women lead Alberta seven to two. Seven two Manitoba over the Yukon as well.
like the Northern Ontario men are going to pick up their fourth win, even their record at four and four. They're beating Newfoundland and Labrador. Now down to the final stones of this one. Looking for a guard and they're going to need a mistake. Perfectly plays guard by Dave. Going to be a little too little too late. Michael just peel this off and then he'll have an open hit on his last. Won't have to stay. We're going to be on at noon tomorrow, I believe, for our first championship pool broadcast. You should double check that though on curling.ca. The schedules have been moving around a bit from day to day. If we sign off early tonight, which it looks like we're going to, you can always check out the other scores on the TSN ticker. All the TSN channels are carrying updates from the Everest Canadian Senior Men's and Women's Curling Championships. A great touch there by Everest, Mark Duffy and his team. Give a shout out to Mark here while I can. I met him last week, I'd heard a lot about him. CEO of Everest and he has just done an amazing job in the in the two weeks that I've known him even uh, things he's trying to do for these players these athletes just to enhance their experience very hands-on sponsor but in a good way working very well with curling Canada and the host committees both in Ottawa last week at the club curling championship and this week again in Sault Ste. Marie it's been a pleasure to be a part of, even though from time to time I do have to work with Randy. So an open hit here for fourth rock thrower Mike Kennedy of New Brunswick, looking to move their record to six and two, drop Team British Columbia to a four and four mark. Pretty simple shot here. Yep. Wow, just scared it out of play, but that is the ball game. Final score, New Brunswick five, British Columbia two. Thank you for tuning in today. We'll be back tomorrow. My name is Peter Stesky. Thank you to our crew in the truck. They put in a long day today. And again, catch the scores from the other games on CurlingCanada.ca, or you can check it out on TSN. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you tomorrow.